My name is Amalia DeComas. I am an orthopedic surgeon at the Core Institute and I specialize in musculoskeletal oncology. Patients with different types of tumors. So they might be cancerous or benign, um, but they all, ex all um, affect the extremity or pelvis. Sometimes it means surgery, sometimes it means observation, but I have a very um, special subset of patients um, for these kind of rare tumors. There's a very rare type of cancer that, that I deal with called a sarcoma that can start in the bones and in the soft tissues. And definitely in those cases, we can cure. I've had an infant, brand newborn, that had an infantile fibrosarcoma in their thigh. He's actually doing great. He's like three or four now. He's disease free, walks without any sort of assistive device. You'd, you wouldn't have any idea that he'd even had that surgery as a baby. I've treated patients over 100, either with metastatic cancer, I had a 99 year old with a sarcoma of her thigh that we ended up treating because you would think, why would you want surgery when you were 99? And this might be a little graphic, but some of these tumors can start bleeding and cause real problems. She was an independent woman living at home with her family. We did her surgery and she's back at home with her family, you know, doing her chores and doing her day-to-day -day activities. I, I do a lot of hip and knee replacements. There's a bit of overlap, just the type of surgeries that I do. Some people come to the doctor when they can't play golf anymore. Some people wait till they can't even watch their mailbox anymore. A hip and knee replacement can really, I mean, drastically change people's lives. You'd be amazed how people have to give up taking care of their grandkids, stuff that they just can't do anymore. And uh, within a couple months, people can be back doing things they hadn't been able to do in a really long time. From the minute I started working here, and one of the things that drew me here, I, I feel like we're a team, and I feel like everyone has a voice. We really work hard to put the patient first. That's important, and that's at the end of the day what's gonna make you happy, is seeing your patients happy and doing well. 